talking about? This game with the stupid host now. When you and Ava were playing Franco and me, we were playing you and Ava. What are you talking about? Photos were taken of our kiss. And then you were asked for money so the photos wouldn't be shown to Ava. How do you know about that? Because I was the one blackmailing you. Oh, Terry, thank the Lord. Please tell me you're here to save me from this pit of boredom. Did my lovely wife ask you to come by and check on me? Elizabeth doesn't know I'm here. Yeah, I can't find her either. I really hate when her work interferes with my life. Okay. How are you? What's going on? You save a bunch of kids today? Actually, Franco, as much as I'd love to hang out, I'm here in a professional capacity. You're covering for someone. Franco, was he having you follow? Okay, the photographer that was there was there because of me. I led you on with Franco's knowledge and support. Why? Because the night of the nurse's ball, I overheard Ava telling Nina that she was trying to push the two of us together in hopes that you would cheat and then the post-up would kick in. And then all of a sudden, everything started to make sense. Like what? Like, I felt like Franco and I were drifting apart, but we weren't drifting apart. We were actually being pulled apart. Ava was forcing you on me, and you, by your own admission, were trying to put Ava and Franco together. So you decided to get your revenge. You were playing games with my marriage and my happiness. After you swore you wanted our friendship back. I'm sorry. No, you can't apologize and use me. I wasn't using you. My feelings were genuine. Okay. I love Franco. For some reason, you just can't accept that. So when he suggested that Scott blackmail you and Ava, I was all in. I thought it would teach the two of you a lesson. And I'd be able to take back my life and my marriage. Professional capacity, huh? Okay. That doesn't sound great. Where's Dr. Robinson? Why isn't she here to give me my results? Dr. Robinson asked me to review the CT scan she ordered for you earlier. I'll start with the good news. I confirmed her findings. You have a malignant growth on your front lobe. And my brain tumor, right? So it's back. So the, uh, the tumor's grown back. It appears to have reoccurred in the same area. I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I just, I just, I don't have any, any symptoms. I'm, I'm nothing like the person that I was the last time. Have you experienced any vivid dreams or nightmares? Besides the fainting, has anything else unexpected or unusual happened to you? What have you got there? This. No. The other hand. Is that for me? Franco. Oh, okay, okay. This is not my pain. Nope. None, just the fainting at the rib. Well, your symptoms are likely to increase as the tumor progresses. It's, it's, it's progressing. Franco, the preliminary indications are that the tumor's inoperable. Scott demanded $125,000. I paid, but the check was never cashed. Is that because you changed your mind about blackmailing me? I'd realized we'd gone too far. I didn't have the stomach for it. Try as hard as you can, but you can never be me. I'm very grateful for that. <laughs>